The Smiling Figma plugin enables designers to directly send content for translation from within Figma. Users can leverage the Smartling plugin to send content for translation, check the status of translations and retrieve translations from the translation management platform. The plugin also allows for pseudo translation. This enables designers to expand and contract text to see how possible translations would fit within their current design. Let's have a look at that now. By selecting pseudo translate, as a user, I can go in and select a text expansion. For this case, we can use something like a 50% increase for languages such as Dutch and German, apply the translations to see how that text expansion may look within this design. As we can see, it's just pseudo text that is placed across. We can see we've got some expansion that would run behind the image in multiple locations. So we would know we would have to change those particular frames or font sizes to accommodate that kind of expansion to that text. What you also notice is when we did that, it created or duplicated the page and just suffix that page with the percentage of the increase and pseudo localized text. So we can go back and see the original and the updated. Once we make any design changes, we can then simply delete those additional pages. Submitting text for translation is just as simple. Simply go into the plugin, selecting Smartling and submit translation. The submit translation gives us the ability to select which pages if we have multiple pages within the Figma design. We can then select on each page which frames should be sent for translation. And expanding this, we can also see which text strings are available for submission also. You will notice that we also automatically create a key for each text string. You can go in and you can edit this key and create your own keys and assign your own keys to those strings. If you create your own keys, simply check after updating the field and it's now ready for submission. Smartly then gives you the ability to either add to an existing job or create a new job to send this translation. We can automatically pre-authorize the translation and submit it for one or multiple languages all at the same time. We then simply submit the content for translation. The Smartling connector for Figma automatically sends each text string for translation, but also captures a screenshot of each frame within each individual page and assigns that as visual context to all of the strings automatically. This then starts the translation process within the Smartling translation platform. Switching to the Smartling translation platform, automatically we can see that that job is in progress. It's automatically calculated how many words for translation and the estimated due date of that translation. Getting more details of that job, we can see exactly overall due date of that content, where the content is within the translation workflow, and any estimated costs that are available for this particular translation request. When a translator goes in to work on this content, you can see they're able to see not only the translations that need to be translated, but also the visual context. We're seeing how that particular Figma frame is laid out, where the text appears in that frame, 
and even segmentation of the large text values. So we can go through and translate each individual sentence contained within each text frame. Once the translations are complete, the translator is simply going to submit these to the next stage in the workflow. The translation job will then be complete, as we can see here. The designer will then get the notification within Figma and via email that those translations are complete. Simply going into Figma, selecting the plugin and translation status. You can see that the French translations are complete and they can simply apply those translations to the layout. That's going to retrieve the translations from Smartling and update the layout. As we can see, we've now got duplicated pages. The translation page is showing with the locale code and the language information. So French for Canada, FRCA. This not has not changed the original layout in any way. We can now see how it lays out and that content. At any point in time, if we read where at any point in time, if we wish to update the design, we can simply go back, change the layout and the design of the original, and reapply the translations. This makes the Smartling plugin for Figma a simple and easy way of translating content directly from the tools designers use today. Thank you for your time.